Hi, how's everybody doing today? Um, I just wanted to hop on and do a quick get ready with me. Um, I actually decided to try out our mineral pigments today that I got um, as part of last month's kudos because honestly I just haven't tried them yet. And I want to do something fairly simple because I'm, I'm going out today, just kind of hang out with some friends, do whatever. So nothing real complicated, nothing like nightlife style. So I'm going to see what we can come up with. Um, I do already have my base face on, which um, consists of these three products, um, our face primer, concealer, and liquid foundation, um, of course, which I put on with our liquid foundation brush. Um, and if you're interested in, you know, seeing my, what my base face looks like, or maybe getting some of these products for yourself, um, I also did a video on our April Kudos, actually, which includes those four products for, uh, together in a bundle um, called the Flawless Four Collection um, at a discounted price, which is actually pretty awesome. It's basically buy three, get one of those for, like, buy three of those products and get one for free. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, I have not done any of my sculpting today. So we're actually going to start out with my sculpting trio, which I have in light. So, and start out with the contour here. That simple eye look, but I still like. Down along my jaw. Um, and then I usually use my finger um, to do the sides of my nose. Brush is a little wide for that. Okay. And then I'm going to do. little rough highlighting okay so I like to put this it's just like a powder highlight I also like to put a little bit under my eye just to brighten that up some and then actually to get my cheekbones a little pop um, sometimes I use this. It has kind of the goldeny glow to it. It's a cream. Um, but today I actually feel like going with something a little bit uh, brighter. So I'm going to use our Touch Alamode Powder Luminizer, which I have in, your, in Iridescent, which is our lightest color. It's basically a white. So just getting a little of this in this really light fluffy brush. Go right on top of my cheek. Top of my cheekbone, I should say. It's a really nice highlight. So this is just a brighter highlight if you want something a little more noticeable. Um, I'm not going to put, that's why I use the other powder on my nose, because I don't want to put this on my nose, because I get kind of an oily T-zone anyway. So I usually avoid this in that area. Okay, there we go. Actually, put that over there. We're actually going to visit my friends, so I'm kind of packing as I go. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to use my nice floofy kabuki brush here. Obviously, you don't want to leave real harsh lines. Okay. So now that we're all nice and highlighted and contoured, um, let's see. So, um, the two mineral pigments I got. Um, oh, also, by the way, I've already put on eye primer. I forgot to mention that. Um, but the two pigments I got was so it was part of last month's kudos. So it's confident I already have this open, so I'm trying not to tip it. Um, which is this nice bronzy brown color. Um, and then 
corrupted, um, which is black. So we're going to see what we can do here with these. Like I said, I have not used these before. So let's see how this goes. Um, so honestly, I'm not super familiar with just like loose pigments. I am very much a palette girl. Love my palettes. So I have um, Addiction Palette 1, 3, and 5. So. Okay. Just using. This is kind of my all over. Color. And this one, sorry, this one was confident. Yes, confident. Okay. It might be called confident, but I'm not confident in its name just yet. Okay. Just kind of blend that out all over my lid. Pretty color. And then get a little bit more on my brush so I can do my other eye. a little bit more than that. I always tend to be dark, um, like heavier with product on my right eye, right off the bat. So I have to darken up my left eye. Even it out. Okay. I think that looks about even there. Clean up the edge a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I said even though this is one color actually, you could probably do a one color look with this. You can see how much lighter it looks on my actual eyelid and darker in the crease. So, yeah, that wouldn't be bad for one, one color look either. It's tempting, but I really kind of want to try the other one too. Okay, let's get that back on. Here, now that I have the lid on, good thing. It's just a nice little pot of pigment. Okay, then I'm going to use this. Oh, actually, which brush do I want to use? Hmm. Is there anything smaller? I try to be careful with my dark colors because I can be, like I said, I can be a little heavy with them sometimes. But this one should be small enough. It's just smaller, um, slightly less fluffy shadow brush. Try and get just a little bit of product on it. Basically, just want to use this to deepen up my crease a little bit. Um, and I know if um, I have seen if you use these with like wet brushes, um, you can get much more intense color if you, that is what you like. So that's something to keep in mind. But I'm trying not to go too super dark, but. Okay, that might look a little harsh right now. I'm gonna go back and blend it out here in a minute. And just try to get the other eye even. Darken it up. I'm deepening my outer V and my crease a little bit. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I lid back on that. My luck, I would drop that and it would just go everywhere. <laughs> I am horribly clumsy. 
Okay, I'm just make sure I have a clean fluffy brush. I'm just gonna blend out my edges here. To soften them up a little bit. Okay. So yeah, wow. I might have to get some more of these pigments. Those colors are gorgeous. see them here I can't see them but you can um, and then just to get well actually I haven't done my brows yet um, <clears throat> and then do those before I finish up my eyes I was thinking I needed a highlight but I can just use the highlight in my brow palette that will be fine. Did pluck my eyes. I plucked my eyes. Ooh, no, no, no. Plucked my eyebrows a bit this morning because they were getting a little crazy, so. My eyebrows just grow back so fast. It's really irritating. They don't, like, I don't get them to grow in the areas that they need to grow in like where I have some sparseness <laughs> they grow like crazy through here just kind of randomly it looks really weird so gotta keep them in check okay so I'm just using the darkest color right now just to brows here. Okay. And then actually before I move on I'm gonna feather that up with just a little bit. It's not quite so sharp. Not quite so sharp an edge. Okay. I'm gonna use the lighter color. Sorry I could show you. I used that dark color and I'm gonna use this lighter color. Because I use them backwards. Because I'm a rebel and I don't like going in order. <laughs> and just kind of fill them in a little bit better. I'm using the flat end of the brow artist brush now. I used the angled before. Okay. Wow, yeah. Look at the difference. Just like actually done and not. Because like, this one's just lined, I haven't filled it in yet, and that one's lined and filled in. Brows make all the difference in just framing your face. The Some advice from the wonderful Jeremy Renner, who some pe most people probably know as Hawkeye. Um, he actually used to be a makeup and I believe also hair artist. <laughs> Funnily enough, if you didn't know that, so one of his big makeup tips is to frame the face. If you don't have time to do everything, do brows, lashes, and lips. So. I really enjoy him as an actor anyway, and I mean, who can pass up such great makeup advice? Okay. So I can see the difference there in my brows, especially my crazy brow over here. Um, and then I'm just going to, honestly, I'm just going to use my pinky um, and get a little bit of this golden highlight here um, and just go under my arch. Okay, just give myself a little bit of highlight. Um, and then I'm going to go back and use the wax over here um, just kind of run it through brows. Just kind of feather that throughout. Um, if you've never used like a wax on your brows, it's no big deal. Like it's not sticky. I need to not move my eyebrows when I'm trying to do them. It's not sticky or anything. And honestly, like after you put it on, you don't even feel it. So it's real lightweight. Okay, so, brows are done. 
eyes are almost done. I'm going to go ahead and line them. Um, I have our precision pencil liner in Perfect, which is our black shade. I do very light. I have barely there lining towards my corner, inner corner. I bolded it up a little bit on the outside. I usually try not to go too heavy with eyeliner. Sorry, make sure I don't still have highlight on my finger before I touch my face. And just kind of connect it and pull it in a little bit. Some mascara. So gel and fibers. Hopefully, I don't mess up like I usually do. I just realized I don't think I have any Q-tips out here. I'm not doing two crazy lashes. I'm just going to do one coat. So we're just hanging out with some friends. So I don't need to get too dolled up. But I wanted to play with some makeup today, so. Okay, and then I just put a little bit of the transplanting gel on my lower lash line by itself. Huh? That's what I usually use the Q-tips for. And that's my mascara to the fiber lash. So it's only one coat. A lot of times I like to do two. Um, because it gives you more volume, but not today. I'm sorry if you can hear my phone vibrating. Because I forgot to shut the vibrations off before I started, so luckily I don't think I've been getting too much through, but if you can hear it, I'm sorry. It happens. I'm a forgetful person, so I will fully admit that. I will remember the most random bullcrap, but not be able to remember important stuff. So. Especially if it is music related. There we go. Okay. Now I all I have left is to pick out something to put on my lips. I don't know. Honestly, I really kind of want to do my.
splash liquid lipstick, but I'm not really going for something that bold right now. So, oh, decisions, decisions. Mm. Oh, yeah, see, I really kind of want to do this one, but I do not need that bright cherry red right now. Uh, oh, lipstick. I don't do lipstick very often. Yeah, why not? I have well-to-do lipstick. And... I'm dropping everything. Um, and pouting? I want to say pouting. Yep, pouty lip liner. Fill it in a little bit. Oh, you know what I just thought? I have my bonbon. I could have used that. That's probably what I'm going to end up putting on later because I love that thing. I have a, um, a red velvet bonbon that I got last month. Oh. Absolutely adore it. Okay. This is just a real nice nude, neutral lip. Said it's pouty lip liner, and then I put um, the well-to-do lipstick over it. Keeping it simple. But yeah, that is today's look. We got to try out um, some of the pigments, which I have never tried before myself. So that was fun, and I definitely think I'm gonna have to get some more because so these are two like basic. Um, every day everyone can use colors, um, but they have some really fun ones like there's some really pretty greens and blues purples um, I think there's even some pinks and stuff. So there's just so many gorgeous different colors um, in mattes and shimmers both. So just another um, closer look at today's look That highlight though, Ugh. I love the luminizer stuff. It's so awesome. But I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you back here soon. Bye.